Hi, my name is Lauren B. Bryant. I'm a librarian at Shoreline Community College, and I'm going to talk about some ebook features that are specific to ProQuest ebooks. One that will link you back to a specific page and allow others to go to that specific page for you to create highlights and notes, generate citations in multiple styles, and use the accessibility reader that lets you hear the book read aloud. So sometimes you want your link to go directly to a certain page. One thing I do is instead of going and using these digital page numbers, which won't be the same as the book's page number, I will put in the page number um, in the search bar. And sometimes you'll get hits that are not the right page number. You'll, you'll see little tiny bits of blue next to the, um, the things that you got a hit on. But you can usually find the page number that way. And then once you're at the page you want, you'll use this toolbar at the top and you'll look for the chain link. And this URL should eat at the end have a PPG equals something and that will be the digital page number. Once you share that with someone, um, the person will go directly to the page that you were looking at. One thing I get asked a lot about digital books is how can I make notes or how can I highlight this book? Um, once you find a section you want to highlight, you'll click and then drag over that section to highlight it. And then you can choose yellow, blue, or red. You can color code these to make it easier to find them later. Um, but something I do that I really like that helps me find them uh, a little bit easier is there's a post-it note icon after you've dragged in and uh, dragged over your text and then you can put in whatever helps you find this later. And then you hit save to get back to all of your highlights. You'll go back to this uh, near the table of contents there'll be some other icons you'll click the star icon and it will have all of your highlights and it will sync them up by chapter when using these types of texts it's important to give credit to the author with citation tools built into the ebook it's easy for students to create citations there will be a toolbar at the top one of them will be a speech bubble with a quotation mark in it when I click it, I get options for multiple styles of citations. And then, of course, you can control C to copy, but it also gives us the option to export, which is nice because sometimes the copy paste uh, loses the italics. When we have more accessibility features in an ebook, it makes students more likely to use them. And it, of course, makes it more inclusive for those with disabilities. So I'm going to show you how to enable the accessibility features for this type of ebook. You'll go to your settings, your profile, and then in this area where it says text only mode, text only mode is off, you want to enable text only mode. Hit I agree to ProQuest privacy policy in terms of service. When you click read aloud this page in your browser, for me in Edge, it's in my URL bar. It's an A with some uh, curved lines above it. And when I click that, ProQuest. it does start to read e the Central. page aloud. Um, I, it's going to read every single Search. thing in the menu, so I'm gonna jump it ahead. E7.6 DNA synthesis, a DNA polymerase synthesizes a new strand by adding one nucleotide at a time to the three-foot end of the elongating strand.